Hey, what is up guys? Fabrizio Van Marciano here from FabrizioVanMarciano.com. You can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Van Marciano. Welcome to another very quick video tutorial, guys. Today, I'm going to show you how to create a custom search page, a dedicated search page for your WordPress website with a nice custom search form and some other little features. And we're going to be doing this inside of Oxygen Builder for WordPress, of course. So let's dive straight onto the screen, guys, and get started. Hey guys, welcome to the tutorial. And so let's get started with this. It's going to be a relatively quick tutorial. But before we get started, I just want to show you what I mean by a custom search form or search page. If I head over to my blog here at Magnet for Blogging, you'll see if I scroll down a little bit on the homepage, I have a custom search form in a section, which looks pretty cool. So I have a heading, what are you looking for? And people can just search for whatever they want. They can enter the keywords in the end, hit the search button. I also have a bunch of um, custom links and I'm going to show you how to create this for your own website. And uh, uh, so let's head over to our dummy website here in uh, Oxygen Builder. We have our template already created here. This is a locally hosted site. Um, and as you can see, I just have that header and footer and my inner content here. So the first thing I'm going to do is go over to add and I'm going to go right ahead and drop in a code block. I'm not going to bother with a section or anything like that, but you can add a section if you want to. But for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going to uh, use a code block. So on this code block, uh, let's uh, first give it a name, uh, rename. I'm going to call this uh, custom search form. Okay. So now under primary and uh, PHP, let's get rid of this little piece of code here and replace it with our form HTML. So all you have to do guys is just follow along and uh, copy what I'm doing. If you get stuck, just pause the video and uh, yeah, take it, uh, take it slow. And I'll try and go as slow as I can, okay? So the first thing we need to do is add a div. It's gonna be our first div like so. And then we're gonna give this div a class I'm going to call it uh, container search. Okay, so this div is our container. Next, we need to add another div. And then we're going to give this a class. And this is going to be uh, custom home search. Okay, pretty straightforward stuff. Next, we need to add our form. So we're going to go form uh, and then Form, like so. In here, uh, we need to add role, okay? And that's gonna be search, okay? Then we need to add a space and then type in method. And inside here, we just need to put get space, okay? ID search form, okay? Space action in here you need to put the url the full url of your website so https uh, www dot whatever your website is dot com okay so i'm just going to use the hash symbol because this is on a dummy website so next we need to add a simple label so we're going to go label then class and this is going to be screen reader text okay space for S. Okay, that is all we need to do. Oh, and we also need to add a closing tab for this label, like so. Okay, so now we need to put some inputs and uh, there are two inputs. So the first one is going to be input type text. Okay, then space. Then we're gonna add a placeholder. You don't have to use a placeholder, but I like to, uh, I like to when I'm creating custom forms. And inside this placeholder, we're going to put enter your key words, then value name S I D S like so. Okay. So the second input is going to be submit like so. Okay. Input type submit. And then we are going to add the ID, which is search submit. Okay, search submit. Then space value search. 
Okay. Okay, so what else? I think that is it for the most part. Let's just apply and see what we have. Collapse. And as you can see, we have our basic little form. Now I'm going to show you something else, but just let me tidy this up very quickly here. Right, if I go back to my blog here, if you take a look, you'll notice that I have a search icon here, this little magnifying glass here, but uh, this isn't visible here in our uh, custom search form. So how do we add this here? So let me just show you very quickly. What we need to do is add a little space up here. Then we need to paste a piece of code that'll link to the resource, the style sheet, over on uh, uh, Font Awesome, which contains uh, all of these icons. So I already have this in my uh, library here, so I'm just gonna hit paste, like so. And don't worry guys, I will link to this um, resource in the description, and also it'll be in the blog post, the tutorial post, over on my website at fabrizioviamarciano.com. Okay, so now we have the style sheet resource linked here. What we need to do is go uh, in back into our code here, and just above the input, we need to add the icon itself. So we start with I, and then class, and inside this class, we're going to type in F A space F A search, and then space search icon, like so. Okay, and then we need to close this tag here. Oops, like so. <laughs> Apply and uh, let's collapse our editor. As you can see there, we have our little magnifying glass here. Okay, and for the most part, guys, that is the HTML uh, piece taken care of. Now what we can do is go back to, if we save this and take a look at what we have on the front page. Yep, we have our search form, but it needs a little bit of styling because none of the styles is coming up. So what we need to do is go back to primary and then under CSS, here is where we need to type our CSS. Now I'm not gonna type all of this CSS out for you guys. What I'm gonna do is just paste it because I've already written it and I'm gonna paste it in here and also because I'm lazy, okay? <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna paste the CSS <clears throat> here, like so, and then apply. Looks like it's already taken place here. Collapse the editor. Let's save this, and uh, let's go back to the front end and refresh this page. And as you can see, we have our search form already styled. But yeah, all of this is customizable, so feel free to play around with it and see what you come up with and make it more fitting for your website. What I'm gonna do now is, uh, I'm going to add a heading here very quickly, and uh, this is going to be uh, what are you looking for? And then we can central this like so. Uh, I'm going to drag this above the custom search form here. So what else can we add? Let's go back to inner content and let's add a div. And then inside this div, we're going to go and add uh, some custom links. Here we go. Um, let's add maybe a keyword here. Keyword one, and let's style this. So let's text color, we're gonna go for a nice gray. Um, hover, maybe a nice red. And then what else can we do? Let's go to advanced. Uh, effects, transition, let's go 0.2 sec, 0.3 sec. And what else can we do? Let's go to advanced here, size and spacing. Let's add a margin of, I don't know, 20 pixels. Yeah, that'll do. And uh, now we can just uh, duplicate this several times. And then let's go back to this div, and then we're going to align everything um, horizontally, okay? And maybe centralize all of this here. Uh, one thing we did forget to add here, let's go and add a text. This is going to be uh, something like popular searches. And then we can uh, make this bold, like so. And let's drag this, uh, let's go open this up actually. Let's drag this all the way to the top here. Uh, size and spacing, and we'll add 20 pixels here as well. Um, let's also go back to this div and add a little bit of space here. 22 pixels, yeah that'll do. Let's refresh the home page and see what we've come up with. And yeah, that looks pretty cool, okay? But I kind of rushed this guys, but you don't have to. Take your time with it and see what you come up with. Uh, let's go back here, maybe add a little bit of spacing here, 22 pixels, yep, save that. And uh, that is it. Uh, okay, so I want to show you very quickly where I'm pulling all of this HTML uh, from for this particular form. So if I expand it, the editor here, this uh, bunch of code here that I've put into this uh, code block, where did I get all of this code from? So let me just collapse this very quickly and uh, I'll go to structure here. 
go back to inner content. So let me just add a simple search form like so. It doesn't matter where it is, but what I want to show you, so I've simply just saved this and then I'm going to go to uh, view on the front end, let this load, and then what I'm going to do is right click here and uh, uh, inspect. Let's scroll up a little bit. Here's our uh, search form that we've just dropped in. And basically this is where I've pulled all the HTML from. So inspect and then hover over this. Uh, well, anyway, I'll do for the time being. And then we can go up here and look where we want to be. So basically from here, form, uh, role, search method, get form, and then all the way down to the closing tag for the form here. Now the additional div that I've put into here, let me just go back to custom search form here, PHP. Now this div here, this line of code, is basically for a container that I've created. You don't need to add a container if you don't want to. You can add a, a custom class for your search form. And then uh, basically what I've done here, I used a notepad to drag uh, all of this code uh, from uh, form role here. All of this code into a notepad. So we've got this piece, and then this piece, and then this line, and then this line, and then this line, and then this line into a notepad. And then I've basically pasted it into here, modified it a little bit. So that's where I basically pulled the HTML from simply by dropping a uh, standard, bog standard uh, search form into the canvas here in Oxygen, and then saving it, and then using the inspection tool to grab the HTML. Uh, the other thing I wanted to show you very quickly, guys, is uh, you might have noticed, let me expand this a little bit, you might have noticed that I've added a label here, but this label is in fact empty, there's nothing here, but if I was to add something like a message, and then maybe apply, let me just collapse this, you'll see that this message appears here, okay? If we save that um, on the front end here, let's refresh this page, you'll see message. But I decided to leave this empty uh, completely. In fact, you probably don't even need to add this piece here. If we removed the label altogether, apply, save, refresh, uh, there we go. Okay, so we don't need the label. Uh, let me just go back here a second and get rid of this because we don't need it. Now the other thing I want to mention very quickly that this tutorial for creating a custom uh, web form for your homepage or your dedicated landing page will only work if you have created a custom search uh, results page within Oxygen. So you've created the template and you've assigned that template for the search results. So it will not work if you have not created a custom template for your search results. So I've already done this for my blog here at Magnet for Blogging. This is built on Oxygen, of course. And so uh, I have my search results page template. So if I type some keywords in here, blog traffic, very generic, hit search. This will go straight to my search results page, my custom search result page that I created in Oxygen. So just to remind you, this will only work if you have a search results page assigned as a template in Oxygen. Okay, so I guess the next uh, phase would be to make this page, this form, uh, responsive. So if we take a quick look at all devices, uh, looks fine. Page container 1120px and below. Still looks fine. If we go to less than 992, it uh, kind of looks okay. These keywords look uh, a little bit too big. Maybe we can resize these to a smaller font. Let's try maybe 14 and the same for these as well. 14. Yeah, that looks a bit better. Let's save that. So let's try less than 768 pixels. And yeah, things start to look a little bit untidy. So we'd probably need to um, move things around. But I guess the easiest solution would be, guys, if we go to the uh, custom search form code block here and maybe go to advanced, layout, and uh, find visibility and click uh, hidden to get rid of it. And maybe we can add a bulk standard search form here. Uh, like so, and have that visible instead. Uh, we can customize that a little bit better, but I'm not going to do it in this tutorial. And then what we could do, of course, if we go back to less than 992, we can go to advanced on this search form, go to layout and uh, visibility. We can click hidden like so, and to just make sure that uh, 
1120px it is also hidden and maybe also all devices let's have a look at that hidden so let's just save this very quickly this is just a quick workaround just to make this form and all of the elements here a little bit responsive obviously i would take a lot more time if i was doing this for myself or for a client but when you're doing it for your own website it would obviously take some time uh, to do it uh, properly so let's go back here page container yeah that looks fine again 992 yeah it looks fine might need to adjust this but this is in the way now so we could probably figure out how to bring this up a little bit maybe go to this div here and uh, advanced size and spacing let's go let's go minus 10 pixel like so yeah that looks fine so what we need to do here from 768 is make some adjustments here with the search form uh, let's start with this div here, add a little bit more space here, size and spacing, maybe try 20 pixels for now. And then the search form will go advanced, uh, size and spacing, and let's go minus maybe 120. Yeah, that's fine, let's save that. And then let's go back up here. Um, what we might do with this keyword block actually is probably make this hidden as well just as a quick solution for making this responsive. Where am I going here with this layout? A visibility hidden, uh, like so. Okay, let's save this. Once again, I'm just rushing through this, but guys, when you're doing this for yourself, just take your time with it. So yeah, that looks kind of okay, I suppose. But again, we could probably just customize this form for mobile. I have not optimized the header or the footer on here, but it really doesn't matter because the focus here is on the uh, search form itself uh, less than 992 yeah looks fine uh yeah all the other ones look fine this probably needs let's go to size and spacing minus 15 pixels like so save just going back and forth here checking everything is looking ace yeah looks kind of okay again maybe we can resize this to even smaller font uh, let's try this as well to 12 pixels yeah a little bit smaller save that that looks kind of fine, but you know, I'm just going through this very quickly, like I said. And when you're doing this for your own site, just take your time with it. You don't need a rush like I'm doing here. I think we'll leave it as that for our responsive tweaks. One thing I wanted to show you very, very quickly before we wrap this tutorial up, guys, is uh, if you've noticed, I started editing these links, customizing them with different colors and spacing and uh, all the rest of it without adding custom classes to them first. You might have noticed that. And I did that on purpose because I wanted to show you something. Uh, I have this really cool plugin installed called Oxy Class Act. And uh, if you want to learn more about it, I will link to it in the description. But if you head over to Oxy Plugins, you can learn all about it. It's a very, very useful plugin. It basically allows you to move some of the styles from your ID to a class um, and attach uh, pseudo classes like hover and pseudo elements. And also copy classes for variations, which is really, really useful. One of the things that I tend to do when I'm designing using Oxygen Builder is I get a little overexcited and I start um, customizing elements before I've even assigned a class to it. So basically this plugin is a bit of a lifesaver. As you can see here, I've created this element and I've already started to style it, but I haven't created a custom class. But what I can do with this plugin enabled Oxy Class Act, up here you can see I have clear styles, copy to class or move to class. So all I need to do here is copy to class and then I can create a custom class. So let's say popular searches, like so. Okay, and as you can see, now I can just go ahead and uh, delete these, okay? Like so, and then just duplicate, is it this one as well? Yes, delete this one as well. And then I can just duplicate this one here several times, like so, okay? Very, very useful. I can also move to class as well. And like I said, I can clear styles. I will be using this plugin a lot more in the future in my tutorials and also my uh, design projects. So I'll be explaining in more detail how this works and what the benefits are, okay? So that is it guys, that wraps up our tutorial. Let's just save this one last time. And uh, yeah, it's looking good. So there you have it guys. I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below or wherever you're watching this video, whether it's here on my YouTube channel or over on my website at fabriziovamarciano.com. If you want to check out some of my other Oxygen Builder and WordPress tutorials, please feel free to do so. And of course, if you're not already subscribed, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and also the notifications bell to get updates. And uh, that is it. If you want to learn more about me and what I do, head over to my website at fabriziovamarciano.com. Again, I'll have a link in the description. And uh, until the next video, take it easy and peace.
Cheers.